Hi everybody. Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a good day so far. Um, today, I wanna to talk to you about something and I have it right on my table. I'm gonna bring it over. Does anyone know what this is a basket of? Anyone? Yell it out if you know. Special, special bonus points if you can give me the sign language name for this. I heard somebody say orange. Yes, these are oranges. Now raise your hand if you like oranges. I know I do. I love to eat them. I love to drink the juice. I love to, um, I love to peel them because I love the way it makes my fingers smell afterwards. I love everything about oranges. Let me tell you something, and we can get oranges all the time because we live in California. Um, and there's a lots and lots of orange growers in California, especially down in Southern California where it's a little bit hotter. So lots and lots of orange trees. Now I'm gonna tell you something. A long time ago, maybe like 140 years ago, so that's a really long time ago. That was before I was even alive. That was before any of us were even alive yet. But I'm gonna tell you, um, there was lots of farmers who were in California and they loved to grow oranges because the weather was perfect. The weather was not too cold so the um, oranges wouldn't freeze. It was nice and warm so the oranges grew beautifully. And the farmers would take their oranges to the farmer's markets and to the grocery stores and people were so happy. Then one year, something bad happened, guys. I'm gonna tell you about it. The farmers were noticing that the orange trees didn't look very good. They looked unhealthy. They looked kind of like they So were the farmers went down to the orange groves where all the orange trees were growing and they looked closely at the trees and they saw this horrible bug that they have never seen before eating all the oranges, eating all the leaves of the oranges, eating all the fruit, eating all the oranges themselves, ruining the trunks of the trees. It was a horrible, horrible disaster. Do you guys wanna see what the bug looked like? I'll show you. Okay, guys, get ready. This is what the bug looked like. It's called a cottony cushion scale. Can you guys say that? Cottony cushion scale. Ew! So you know what? The farmers had never seen that kind of bug before on their orange trees, and they tried everything that they could think of. They tried spraying the trees with water. They tried putting different chemicals in so the, so the bugs wouldn't like to eat them. Nothing worked. And they were ruining all the orange crops in California. And the, and the farmers were so, so sad. They said, we're not gonna be able to grow oranges in California anymore. And all the people that we sent oranges to are gonna be so, so sad. But luckily, one day, there was a man and he was visiting from a country called Australia. Can you guys say Australia? Australia. Australia is like on the other side of the world. It's far away. And um, it's where the koalas live and the kangaroos. And we have our friend Flossie that's from Australia too, right Flossie? Anyway, this man said, hey mate, I know what kind of a bug that is. <laughs> and he told them, it was called the cottony cushion scale. And he told them, we have a bug in Australia that loves to eat, guess what it loves to eat, guys? Cottony cushion scales. It loves to eat the cottony cushion scales. And they said, well, where can we get this bug? We don't have a bug like that here. And they said, this bug is called a ladybug. And they said, we've never seen a ladybug. How can we get some? So this is what happened. Guys, this was before there were cars and airplanes. So you know what they had to do? They send 500 ladybugs over in a big ship. They put them in a big container and they took those 500 ladybugs and they brought them over on a big ship. And then when they got them, guess what happened? They put them all over the orange trees, all those 500 ladybugs. And pretty soon those 500 ladybugs had babies and more babies and more babies. So there was thousands of ladybugs all over. And guess what those ladybugs did? They ate all those pesky cottony cushion scales. So then pretty soon after that, not only 
where the orange is good again, but they grew three times as many oranges than they did before because there was none of those bugs to ruin the orange trees anymore. Everybody was so, so, so happy. And a lot of people don't know this really important stories about ladybugs. So that's the first time a ladybug ever came into America. And now we have them all over the place, right guys? We have them all over. So every time I eat an orange or I see an orange, you know what I like to say? I like to say, thank you ladybugs. Sometimes I like to say it in sign language. Thank you ladybugs. Will you say it with me? Thank you, ladybugs. Bridget, will you say it with me? Thank you, ladybugs. Yay, ladybugs. Woo! Okay, so of course I wanna talk a little bit more about the cute little ladybug. I'll show you that cute little guy. Now, here he is. Here he is. Does this look like a ladybug? One that you've seen before? Now remember, a ladybug, what's well, usually red, Sometimes, guys, you know what it can be? It can be orange or yellow or even pink. Can you believe that? And I want to show you something really cool about the ladybug. Well, let's count its let's count its legs. Let's see how many legs the ladybug has because a ladybug is an insect. And if you remember how many legs an insect have, the answer is six. It has six. Let's make sure this is an insect. Let's count. One two, three on one side, and one, two, three on the other side. So three legs over here plus three legs over here is six legs. So yes, this ladybug is a kind of insect. It's actually a kind of beetle. And so sometimes the ladybug is called a lady beetle, or even in England where Wacky Jackie is from, you know what they call it? They sometimes call it a ladybird. Can you guys say ladybird? They call it a ladybird. I call it a ladybug, because that's what I um, grew up calling it. Um, and I want to show you something about its really cool wings. It has not one set of wings, but two sets of wings. Let me show you. So the outside part is kind of hard, kind of like an M&M. Have you guys ever had an M&M before? So the M&M on the outside is really hard, right? But then you bite into it and the chocolate is kind of soft in the middle. I don't want to bite into the ladybug though. Do you guys? Ew, no. But that's what the outside is like. And that is called an exoskeleton. Can you say that? Exoskeleton. You know what that means? That means the ladybug's skeleton is on the outside. Now, are, are your skeletons on the inside or the outside? Do you see any bones on the outside of me? Now I have to poke my body and I can feel it. Guys, can you poke? Can you poke your ribs over here and your neck? You can feel your bones. Mine is inside. Can you see my bones on the outside? Like a skeleton for Halloween? No. So um, I have an endoskeleton like you guys do. Can you guys say endoskeleton? Can you say that, Bridget? Endoskeleton. Endoskeleton, that's right. And let me, I was, was showing you the ladybug's really cool um, wings. So he has that one pair of really hard wings, but then inside, if you move these wings out of the way, he has these really fragile little wings that those are the ones he flies with. So he moves these hard ones out of the way, and then he takes this really, these really, really um, fragile black wings and those are the ones he flies with and the reason he has these hard wings is because the wings underneath are so fragile and um, they have to be protected so that nice hard part of his exoskeleton protects those wings okay mr. ladybug we're gonna talk about some ladybug fun facts Do you guys want to hear some fun facts yeah, because there's so many really, really cool things I can tell you about ladybugs. I even printed them out. I'm going to read them for you. Okay, so everybody knows because we already talked about this. A ladybug is an insect and we know that because it has three parts to its body. All insects have three parts. Now, you, it's kind of hard to see on a ladybug unless he moves his wings, but there's um, here's his head but it's hard to see his thorax. It's kind of like a little part of your neck underneath. And then he has an abdomen. So he does have three parts of his body. It's just kind of hard to see. And he does have six legs. Remember, let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he definitely is an insect. 
And it's funny because his name is Ladybug, right? And I keep calling him him, because guess what? Uh, even though he's called Ladybug, a ladybug can be a boy or a girl. That's just his name. So he can be a boy or a girl. And you know what? Um, see these, do you know, guys know what this is, this is called? This is called an antenna. Can you guys say antenna? Antenna, good job. So when there's two of them, I just found this out when I was reading about ladybugs. I didn't know when there's more than one antenna, it's called antennae. Can you guys say antennae? I had to look up the pronunciation because it sounded so weird. I never heard it before, but now we learn something new together. Two of them together are called antennae, antennae. Okay, you know what this ladybug does? Now let me tell you something. When you wanna smell something, like if maybe your grown up is baking some yummy cookies in the kitchen, what do you smell them with? What do you smell them with? Your nose, right? You smell them with your nose. And what do you taste them with when it's time to take a taste of a cookie? You taste them with your mouth, right? With your teeth and your tongue and you eat them. Well, guess what? A ladybug does all its smelling and tasting with its antennae. Can you believe that? We don't have antennae. So we do all our smelling with our nose and all our tasting with our mouth. Um, and you know what they also do? They breathe. We breathe through our, we have lungs inside of our body and we breathe. Can you breathe with me? <sighs> But ladybugs, guess what? They breathe through openings in the side of their body. Does anybody here, do you guys breathe through the side of your body? I don't breathe through the side of my body. I breathe through my mouth and my nose, like you guys do. Now that's, that's kind of a funny thing. Now this ladybug has spots. And the funny thing about ladybug spots is they're exactly the same on both sides. So let's count how many are on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I bet you can guess how many are gonna be on the other side. Let's check though. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're like a mirror image of each other. They're exactly the same, but just on the different sides. So that's pretty cool. And a ladybug, some ladybugs have zero spots. Some don't have any spots at all. And they can have up to 20 spots. So they can have up to 10 spots on each side. Ladybugs can. And the older the ladybugs get, sometimes their spots start to fade. So sometimes if you can see a big ladybug, you can, if you look at it really carefully, you can see the spots really, really lightly because they start to fade when they get older. That's pretty cool, huh? I have more facts, guys. Okay, now we know about the exoskeleton on a ladybug, right? That means the outer hard part. So his skeleton is on the outside of his body where our skeleton is on the inside of our, oh, that kind of tickles when I do that. Guys, can you touch your skeleton? It's kind of tickly when you do that. Our skeletons are called endoskeletons, so they're inside of our bodies. Okay, now we know about his really cool wings, right? He has two sets of wings, not just one, because he has to have these red ones that are really hard and protect the really fragile wings that are inside, the little black ones. These are the ones, look how fragile these are. These are the ones he flies with. So he has to protect them so nothing happens to them or else they couldn't fly. And do you think ladybugs move around very fast? No, when they wanna go somewhere, they have to fly because they're so little. If they're trying to go somewhere, walking would take them way too long. So they really, really need their wings. Now I'm gonna tell you something. There's a lot of animals who might wanna eat a ladybug, especially birds and other kind of insects too. They think this is a really tasty, tasty treat. And I'll tell you, when ladybugs think there's another bird or another insect that's gonna come and wanna eat them, something kind of gross happens. It takes its legs and where his legs bend, the little joints of his leg, he oozes out this yellow liquid that smells so, so, so horrible that if a, leather, uh, if a bird or an insect comes close, they say, oh, I do not want to eat that anymore. So the ladybug has a really, really good protection plan. Um, and you know what else? They um, often like to huddle together, a whole bunch of them, and do you know why? First of all, it keeps them warm. They don't like to be cold, ladybugs. They don't like to be cold. And also, they're small, right? So when they're all huddled together, 
it's a big, big, big clump of red. And um, when birds or other insects come, they see that big, big clump of red. And a lot of times in the wild, if you see an animal or an insect or a bird that's um, really, really, really colorful, um, that means you don't want to eat it because it could taste yucky or it could be poison. So that helps the ladybugs with their predators. A predator is someone who wants to come and eat that ladybug. He sees that red color and he says, oh, I don't want to go close to there. Look at all that red. That might be something that's not going to be good for me. And also, here's another fun fact. When the ladybugs get all together like that, they really don't smell good. You know what I tell you, sometimes in the springtime, you can go to the garden center and you can get a cup of ladybugs. And there's thousands of ladybugs in that cup. And what you do is you release them into your garden and the ladybugs are so good at eating these little bugs called aphids. Can you guys say aphids? Aphids, they love to eat rose plants. And the roses look so pretty when there's no aphids on them and the aphids aren't eating them. So you can release them into your garden and the ladybugs will eat all those pesky aphids. So that's a really good thing that ladybugs do. And you know what? I'll tell you what else they like to eat. They like to eat kind of um, flies, mites, other bugs. But sometimes if you um, are, are you know watching them inside we have a ladybug home sometimes we use and we kind of watch them grow as they start from their egg I'll tell you about that in a minute but when they're all together um, they don't smell very good guys that's what I was trying to tell you when I had the cup of ladybugs and they're all together like that I had it in my car when I was bringing it back from the garden center and I was like what is that smell and then I was holding the cup and when they're all together like that, it is kind of a really stinky smell. So that's a good way that they can protect themselves from animals who really want to eat them. Um, okay, another thing, when the weather gets cold, remember we talked about ladybugs don't like the cold. So what they do is they huddle all together and then they say, you know what guys, it is time to hibernate. So ladybugs, hibernate you know just like bears hibernate so they all hibernate together and they won't come out again until it's about 60 degrees which is kind of like a little bit cool day but maybe a little bit sunny they'll come out when it's 60 degrees but they're smart they don't want to come out when it's cold because it's too hard for them to move around okay so let's see what else I can talk about ladybug 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 oh okay I'm gonna show you at the very beginning do you think ladybugs look like this? No, I'm gonna tell you what happens. A ladybug comes and it, it, you know what it does? It finds the plants with the most bugs. And then, you know what it does? It comes over and it lays some eggs and they kind of look like this. They almost look like little um, yellow pieces of rice. So they lay these little eggs and they usually do it on the bottom of the leaf. So if an, if an animal comes by or a bird or something, they can't see the, um, the eggs because the eggs are pretty tasty to some animals that wanna eat them. So they lay them on the underside so they can't see them. So then it takes about, depending on how warm it is outside, it takes about three days to maybe a week and then they hatch. Now here's the funniest thing, guys. When they hatch, they don't look anything like a ladybug. I'm gonna show you what they look like. This is called, this is called the larva. Look at this. And if there's more than one, it's called larvae. I learned that too. This is a larva and look at, it kind of to me, looks like a little alligator. Does it kind of look like an alligator with bright spots? Here's a funny thing. When teacher Angela and I, one time we ordered some um, larva uh, so we could see how the ladybug grows in our classroom. And they sent us um, little larva that looked like this. And at first I said, oh no, they sent us the wrong thing. This, well, oh, hello. <laughs> that is my cat, Binks. And I guess she wanted to come and see about ladybugs too. Hello, Binks. <laughs> so, um, we thought it was the wrong thing. We said, oh, <laughs> we said, this is not um, a ladybug. This is not a baby ladybug, but it is. This is called the ladybug larva and it doesn't look anything like a ladybug, does it? Does this look 
These things look the same at all? No, it doesn't look the same at all. But guys, guess what? We I we did some reading about it. We said, oh my goodness, that is the like the little baby baby ladybugs. And what they come out, the mommies are so smart where they lay those eggs, they always lay them where there's lots of bugs on the leaves because when the larvae hatch out, guess what? They are so hungry. All they want to do is eat, 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 eat. So they eat and they eat and they eat. And guys, they eat so much that their skin gets too tight. They get so big that their skin is too tight. So they have to squeeze out of their skin. And that's called molting. Can you say molting? Molting. They have to squeeze out of their skin. And they do that three times, those little guys. They do it three times. And then, then they're tired. They're so tired after all that eating. So guys, guess what? Well, after that, uh, this is, takes about, sometimes it takes about a month for them to do all their eating and molting until they're ready for the next stage. So that takes about 30 days. After that, they turn into a little pupa. Can you guys say pupa? It's a little pupa and it kind of looks like a chrysalis that I know you guys have seen before because butterflies hatch out of a chrysalis, right? It kind of looks like this. And so when it's a little chrysalis, it doesn't do any more eating, doesn't even do any more moving. It finds a really play, a, a really safe place that it can go and it sticks itself to the leaf. And guess what? It stays there, not moving for about two whole weeks. So about 14 or 15 days, it stays there, not moving. Guys, can you guess what is going to come out after the two weeks, what is going to come out of here? Do you guys know? Do you know? Yell it out, yell it out. What is it? <gasps> it is, it's gonna be a ladybug. And it kind of, sometimes when they come out, they're a little bit yellow in color. They don't get their bright red color, a lot of them yet. And um, sometimes they're kind of orangish or yellow. A lot of times they're red, but they're kind of light red. But they can't fly right away because guess what? Their exoskeleton that is so important for protecting their wings, it's very, very, very soft. So they have to wait a few days until that exoskeleton gets hard and then you know what they can do? They can use their beautiful, beautiful, fragile wings to fly away and then start their life as a ladybug. Let's clap for a ladybug, yay! One more time for the oranges. What do we say when we see an orange? What do we say? Thank you, ladybugs! Okay, now, to see if you guys were paying attention to my fun facts. Were you guys paying attention to my fun facts? Yes? Okay, I have um, a little quiz to see if you guys can guess if um, they are true or false, the things I'm gonna tell you. Okay, you guys ready? Sorry guys, before I do the quiz, I have to tell you the strangest thing that just happened. We had to stop the video because where Bridget was filming, something dropped on the table right next to her and she's looking and guys, you're not gonna believe this. It actually is a baby ladybug, like that had just hatched out. That is what they look like when they hatch out of their people. I can't believe it came to see us just as I was talking about ladybugs. Can you see it? It's a little blurry, but I'm gonna keep trying to focus it. Oh wait, there we go, let's get a little more focused. Yeah. How funny, guys. You can see its wings. Yeah, so we're gonna let it outside in a minute so we can go find its friends. But that is, I can't believe this happened right as I was talking to you about ladybugs. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm back with that little um, that little baby ladybug. Bridget just let it out outside, so hopefully he can go find some friends to play with today. Um, okay, so I have these two cards. This says true. Can you guys say true? That means one of the facts that I am going to tell you, you're going to tell me if it's yes, it's true. That means yes, it is um, is correct, or False, that means no, Deanna, that's not right. Can you guys say false? False, okay, so true and false. I hope you guys are paying attention to the fun facts. Here I go, okay. 
All right, first fact. Ladybugs are usually blue. Is that true or false? Are they usually blue? Say no, Deanna, they're not usually blue. I hear you guys saying that. You're saying no. All right, I thought I could trick you on that. No tricking, you guys. False, okay. Here's the next one. Ooh, ladybugs came from Saturn. The planet Saturn. Did they come from Saturn? Is that true or is that false? And you say, Deanna, I can hear you guys going, no, they did not come from Saturn. You are right, it is false. Ladybugs did not come from Saturn. Okay. All right, let's see. The next fact is ladybugs have six legs. Now we counted those legs. Do you remember? Did they have six legs? Oh, I hear people saying yes. That's true? Yes? Okay, I'll put it under true. Good job. Here's another one. Ladybugs have two sets of wings, not just one. Is that true? Do they have one set of wings or two sets of wings? I hear you guys saying yes, two sets of wings, right? The hard exoskeleton red ones and then the ones that are really fragile underneath, right? Yeah, you guys are too good at this game. That's good, that's true. You guys are good. I'm gonna really try. I'm gonna try to trick you. I'm gonna try so, so hard. Okay, ladybugs lay their eggs in the water. Do ladybugs lay their little eggs in the water? Do they? True or false? I hear people yelling out false. No, they do not lay their eggs in the water. Where do they lay them? Yell it out. Yes, they lay them on leaves, right? You're right, guys. Okay, false. You guys are too smart. Okay, now this is kind of a tricky one. Ladybugs always have spots. Do they always have spots? My friend has spots. My little friend here has spots, but do they always have spots? Let me hear you. I hear some people saying yes, some people saying no. I'm gonna count to three and I want you to say yes or no, true or false. Get ready. Ladybugs always have spots. <gasps> I hear you guys saying false because remember we talked about sometimes they don't have any spots at all and that's okay. I thought I could trick you guys on that one. Not this time. Okay, let's see. I got confused. <laughs> all right, ladybugs hibernate when it's cold. Do the ladybugs like the cold weather? Hmm, not so much, right? So do they hibernate? I know bears hibernate. Do ladybugs hibernate when it's cold? Okay, guys, I'm gonna count to three. You tell me true or false. One, two, three. Whoa, I heard a lot of you say true. Okay, that's true. Good job, guys. All right, ooh, here's a good one. Ladybugs love to eat mac and cheese. <laughs> Do ladybugs like to eat mac and cheese, guys? Do they? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they do. No. You guys know if they do or not, don't you? No, they don't eat mac and cheese. I like to eat mac and cheese. Do you guys like to eat mac and cheese? Raise your hand if you like to eat mac and cheese. Yay! But we're not ladybugs, so we're going to put those over here. Okay. A ladybug's body has three parts. Is that true? Remember all insects have a certain number of body parts. Was that number three? Oh, guys, I heard you guys say yes. You knew that so quickly. So yes, that's true. A ladybug has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Let's say those together. Those are kind of tricky words. A head is not tricky. Head, okay, good job. Now say thorax, yell it out, thorax. And now say abdomen. Abdomen kind of means part of your stomach. Okay, let's see. Ladybugs taste and smell with their antennae. It was hard for me because I couldn't remember how to say it, but when it's more than one antenna, you say antennae. Can you say that with me? Antennae, that sounds funny to me, but it's right. Do they, do they smell and taste with their antennae? Yes, they do. Good job, guys. True, they do. Bridget, I haven't been able to trick them yet. Aww. Okay. Ladybugs are always girls because the word lady is right in their name. Are they always girls? No, 
they are not. You guys are too smart for me. They are not always girls. They can be boys or girls, even though lady is right in their name. So that's false. Ladybugs came here from Australia. Is that true? Australia, where the koalas live and the kangaroos live and Flossie used to live? Is that true, guys? Yeah? Yeah? <gasps> yes, it is true. Ladybugs came here from Australia. And then, of course, I'm going to have to take this because it makes me think of these. And then what do we say? Thank you, ladybugs! Good job. Okay, true. All right. Ladybugs have an exoskeleton. Is that true, guys? That means they have their skeleton on the outside of their body. Do they have an exoskeleton? Yes, they do. That's right. We have an endoskeleton. You can poke it. You can poke it, but it's under our skin. It's under our skin, so you can't see it, but you can feel it. But a ladybug, you can see it because that red part of their body, that red part of their wings and on their body on the bottom, they have their skeleton right on the outside of their body. So yes, they have exoskeletons. True. Okay. Ladybugs have eight legs. Is that true or false? I think we already talked about ladybug legs. I thought we said that they had six legs. What kind of animal has eight legs, Bridget? Spider. A spider or even an octopus. Right guys, were you saying octopus? Okay, so this is false. All right, ladybirds, oh, ladybugs, <laughs> I wrote this wrong. Ladybugs are also called lady cats. Are they called lady cats? No, they are not. I wrote it even, I even wrote it wrong. I was trying <laughs> to trick you. I was, I said, remember ladybugs are sometimes called ladybirds? They're not called lady cats. I'm gonna get rid of that card because I have to do it over again. <laughs> Silly Deanna. Okay. Ladybugs are a kind of beetle. Is that true, guys? Are they a kind of beetle? <gasps> Bridget is nodding her head. Yes. Is that what you guys are doing? Nod your head yes or shake your head no on a count of three. One, two, three. Ooh, I see a lot of heads nodding. Yes, that's true. Ladybugs are a kind of beetle. Good job. And the last one, I'm not even sure I talked about this. Ladybugs love to eat raisins. I don't even know if I talked about this because I think I got distracted. Um, but guess what, guys? When ladybugs are in the wild, they like to eat things like aphids and flies and different kinds of bugs. But when you're taking care of them, I know I started this story. I was saying when Angela and I got some so we could watch them, you know, when they hatched out, you know what they told us to feed those ladybugs? We had to cut a raisin in half and you kind of soak it in water so it gets really plump and juicy. And guess what? Those little ladybug babies, they love to eat raisins. So I'm gonna tell you, cause I didn't talk about that. So I'm gonna tell you that yes, they do love to eat raisins. Do you guys love to eat raisins? I love to eat raisins. Raise your hand if you love to eat raisins. Woo! Yay. Okay, good job guys. So let's see. Guys, you got them all correct. All right. Guys, can you give yourselves a hand? Yay! Yay! And one more time, guys. One more time. I'm going to roll this orange over here. And what are we going to say? Guys, say it nice and loud. Thank, Thank you, you ladybugs. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Richie. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right, guys. This was fun. I'm going to see you in two days. All right? Have a good rest of your weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.